Mexico is a land of natural wonders, and one of its greatest treasures is the cenotes. These mysterious sinkholes are scattered throughout the Yucatan Peninsula, offering a truly unique and unforgettable experience for those who venture to explore them. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through some of the most stunning cenotes in Mexico. Join us as we dive into their crystal clear waters and discover the surreal and enchanting beauty hidden beneath the surface. Good morning. It's our second full day in Tulum, and we're going on an adventure. We're going to take a little respite to see some cenotes, and hopefully hit up the Tulum ruins, and go from there. Okay, we made it here on our Vespa somehow. So. <laughs> we are at Zasilha. About uh, 20 minutes from where we were. Wasn't too bad. Um, let's check it out and see what it's all about. The goal <laughs> is to at least try to get to three cenotes so that we can show you all if you are willing and able to either rent like a bike or a moped. And we also tell people like bicycle, like old school bike old school but bicycle using a bike and you can it's not far from Tulum and you can come and check it out yourselves if you don't want to like do a group tour or you don't want to rent a car too. So here at Cenote Sazil A, they have a restaurant and they have like a little menu here. The entrance fee is 300. Oh, that you can get a little cabana for two people, which is nice, or a family cabana. Gracias. They have a safari you can go on to. We're not doing that today. Oh, that's another good photo shot. Barissimo. Let's take a picture of this thing. No, he's going to jump. Only jump. Go ahead. Hold on. Woo. Good job. How's the water? It's cold, but it's uh -huh. <laughs> I definitely don't. I don't know if that was as graceful as everybody else. You, you want to go again? <laughs> No, oh, we're not like 10 pesos. That's, that's not even a dollar. Oh, that's true. I think that's enough. You want to try? No, I have enough body strength. I'll fall as soon as we get there. It wasn't that bad. I want to get in you there. You saw the whole rope sink as I held out to it. Did that hurt? Here we go.
I got a little oh, hammock over there. So I think you can, I think you can sleep here because that has a number on it. I think you can rent these. That's cool. Okay. Wait, imagine I have a little private dinner and that's like, this is really cool. Pinoke is essentially just like a sinkhole that fills with water from surrounding like lime rock. We'll put the actual definition below. But as you can see from the different cenotes that we're visiting, that we're visiting today, and the one that we just visited, it's kind of like a little pool of water. And they're really beautiful. They're all really different. Some have a lot of wildlife, like fish and turtles and alligators. And if you're a diver, there's some really good cenotes to go diving in. We don't dive, but you can also snorkel as well. So. Oh, wait, I didn't see this. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry, look at outside. I would assume there'd be water running if it was going, but... Cenote number two of the day. Numero dos. Sean, that's a real turtle. Hey, buddy. Look. Sean thinks it's a fake turtle. Because look how still it is. There's the turtle's look. Grand Cenote, one of the most popular and visited cenotes in the area, includes a river-like open-air cenote flanked by two snorkeling areas and surrounded by caves and caverns. The waters are crystal clear, so you can see turtles swimming in its waters like we did. A little tip, the bats are on the ceiling of the caverns, so avoid this area if you don't want to swim under them. I've never swam in a cave with bats. <laughs> 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 Alright, I've seen bats before. We've actually climbed in a cave in Thailand with a bunch of bats. But we want to show you. Look at these. We made it to our last cenote of the day, Cenote Calavera. It's really quiet. I'm not sure if it's because no one is here or it's because it's closer towards the end of the day. But either way, it costs, what was it cost? 250. 250 pesos each to enter. And then they charge like an extra $200 for like, for um, GoPro or drone and things like that. So, so this place is called Cenote Calavera. Uh, because it has two eyes and a mouth, uh, so it makes the shape of a skull. So, yeah. eye number one, eye number two, mouth. 
Watch out for the people below. Please don't hit nobody. Go ahead. A three. You could do better. It was a three. What? You get a three. Yeah, that wasn't a good. <laughs> cenote Calavera is the closest cenote to Tulum Centro, just a 10 minute drive away. It is one of more than 6,000 found on the Yucatan Peninsula alone. It's filled with what's known as halocline water or a mix of fresh water and salt water. Because the cenote is so close to the ocean, it is natural for salt water to flow in. However, the salt water and fresh water do not technically mix, but rather coexist in layers. Think oil and water. So that's the end of our cenote adventure on our uh, on our yellow vespa so we went to three cenotes the first one was cenote zinilha <laughs> the second one was grand uh, cenote and the third one was uh, cenote calavera and which one would you recommend sean i mean they're all good if you only could go to one they're all good in their own right but uh the best bang for your buck probably at uh zinilha uh, Calavera is really cool, especially like you could jump through three different holes. But, um, you know, in terms of things to do and like, uh, the, you know, uh, Zanilha had the zip line and everything like that. Like there was just more stuff to do. It was more fun, more relaxing, um, but they're all great in their own right. Yeah, <laughs> all three. They, I mean, it does add up. The first one was 300 pesos per person. The second one was 500 and this one was... 250 yeah. so it does per person and it doesn't really include anything so it does yeah, you have to pay extra for life too. at this one you have to pay extra for a life vest. if you want it. um no food is included drinks are included anything like that so i like the first one i feel like it's more of a local vibe i would like go to go to the bodega get you some snacks some water i also like the first one more because it was less people they serve food and drinks um, there's also a pool with a water slide. It was closed, but they do have that. And so I do prefer the first one more, but thank you. <laughs> if you have the time and the money, I recommend this one. And there's a few more that obviously that was, I think we would have went to if we had a few more days here. And if we had a car, the one I really wanted to go to, I'll have Sean link below. Yeah, so that's the end of our cenote adventure on our yellow Vespa. And we hope that you enjoyed this video.